Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central, I'm your host Jack, and today we're taking a look at modern women having a meltdown over the future. But let's jump right in, right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. What is your ideal age for your man? 30. What race is your ideal man? Black. Black. Minimum height? 6'3". Minimum income? 90,000. 90,000? The likelihood of you finding your man is 0.036%. Well, her chances are low, to say the least. Is that what's happening? 100%. And yeah. what gave you the confidence? Um, delusion? <laughs> this is why we need to start appreciating what we have in the moment, or we'll end up like this woman. I'm having a terrible experience in Miami compared to Vegas before this. I'm running into lack of commitment, and I don't think men take relationships seriously anymore. I think there's too much focus on people being focused on the physical. It is not cheap to live in Miami. Yeah. <laughs> the men who live there and have any yeah. flourishing or success or have that Lambo or whatever, that self-selects for a select yeah. few of men that are not only wealthy, but often ambitious and aggressive and so from that standpoint yes you're going to find men who first generally have the ability to have more partners yeah. that number is going to increase what i'm saying is men in general aren't like men yeah. in miami what happens is if you tell a woman hey i guarantee if you move to waco texas you'd find a husband in two seconds yeah and he'd worship the ground you walk on but exactly. they was like well no i'm moving to brickle or i'm moving to west hollywood that's the thing you can't tell them it's like fishing in the desert. You're not gonna find anything because you're looking in the wrong place i want to be an artist i want to sing i want to be like, I want to be in the spotlight, like, I want to perform, and, um, I don't think he ever wants to be part of that. Sometimes it just, it just sucks, because, you know, like, you want to do something for yourself, and, like, a career, but then you love someone and they, they can't handle it. So it's just like, you kind of just have to pick, right? This has been a discussion for eons. What makes you more happy? A good career or a good relationship? Tell me what you guys think down below. All right, we see these girls video after video covered in makeup, ruining their skin and men, let me let you in on a little secret. We gotta take care of our skin. No way around it. The men that women want have good skin. And trust me, they take note. And that's why I'm excited to have Tiege Hanley as the sponsor of today's video. They help men start and maintain a skincare routine by simplifying the entire process. Honestly, it's the best skincare routine for guys like you and me who don't have the time to deal with all the hassle. I recommend you start with their level 1 system, which comes with all the basics. It comes with a daily face wash to get rid of the dirt and grime on your skin, a 2 times per week exfoliating scrub to get rid of the dead skin cells, an AM moisturizer with SPF 20 because you should always be protecting your skin from the sun, and a PM moisturizer to help your skin stay hydrated and healthy throughout the night. A start to end routine that will make your skin look and feel amazing. And I gotta say, my favorite part about Tea Shanley is that every box comes with a little instruction card that tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order. They really make the process of achieving and maintaining amazing skin stupid easy. Trust me when I say that their products have made my skin look and feel better than ever and the confidence boost that comes with that is staggering. But you don't have to just take my word for it. They have over 7,000 five-star reviews on their website from satisfied customers around the world. And because Tiege is sponsoring this video, they're offering my viewers an amazing deal. Just click the first link in the description to get 30% off your first skincare system and a free gift. Plus, as a member, you'll get 20% off for life. By the way, both gifts you're choosing from are a $20 value and complete game changers. A silicone body scrubber or a nail and face grooming kit. Personally, I prefer the nail and face grooming kit because no matter who you are, if you have dirty nails, people won't want to shake your hand or be anywhere near them. So don't wait any longer. Click the first link in the description to start your skincare journey today. This is probably why I'm going to be single forever. Not really by choice. It's not about being insecure. It's about staying in your lane because honestly when it comes to the whole finding a wife thing a lot of men want women to cook and clean i'm just like not gonna cook and clean cook like i've been eating canned tuna for the past 15 years of my life i'm not cooking for myself why the am i gonna cook for you so i get why you would not want to choose a woman like me to be your wife i i don't really look like a wife either i'm, I'm pretty i get it Thanks to mom and dad, shout out to Big G. But like, I am not prim and proper. I'm not gonna be a trophy wife, okay? Uh, my hair, highlights. Yeah, that's the most type of upkeep that I do. I don't even shave my legs. I go months without shaving my legs. So I don't, I, I, I am a DJ, okay? Travel the world, I get paid to party, I'm around men. No one's gonna give me 
serious. So in conclusion, amongst a lot of other things, I just feel like I'm going to be single forever. Not because of me not choosing men, but because men not choosing me. Because clearly, I just don't make the cut. Is she really bragging about not knowing how to cook and not taking care of herself? This is not something you should be proud of. Most women that say they want a good man, if you bring her one right now, she probably Do you think that women are single by choice? Them saying they're single by choice is because they've been unsuccessful in finding one. We say that we want to be single because we can't find that one because we're incapable in this season of managing ourselves in that. If you told a woman <laughs> right now, I have the, the man, the one you want. If God himself said, right now, if you want this, I have the guy that you want. Mm -hmm. Everything laid out, everything you want. Cause you know, all women say they got their different preferences. I got your preference right here, ready for a relationship. She's not gonna say, no, thank you. I'm gonna stay single. They want a man. That verbiage of wanting a man on our level, that is our ignorant way of saying that I don't know how to balance this new embodied power I have as a successful woman with being a woman in the presence of a man. This classic excuse that people always use is faker than the fat jolly man that we all love. But let's just say I would need like grand a, or 50 grand a year to live off of for 20 years. So then what's that? Like a million bucks? Forgive me, I don't know. What's the math? Well, if you're... If you were making fifty thousand dollars, that's a million dollars. And the average fifty thousand dollar so that's what I just said. The average fifty thousand dollar a year earner will not have a million dollars to retire on. Okay. They can't make enough. There are no investment vehicles. And you need at least one point six to two point four because you have to adjust for inflation. There's not enough money to put in the vehicle. See, there's no way to overcome the math. I don't, you won't have enough to retire on. Ever, if, I'm trying to, ladies, understand something. Understand something. You have been allowed to go into the world to not have to take it seriously. To be, I'm a this, I'm a that, I'm a this, I'm a that. And robbing people to pay Paul. And at the end of the day, making money, not investing anything. And unless you, and if you're not going to be with a man, and really build with a man? And how do you plan on getting your $1.8 million that you're going to need at age 65 to retire? And at $70,000 so a year, and at $70,000 a year, you won't have it either. I'm not sure what is more childish, her standards or her math skills. If it was that simple, I'd be doing the same thing. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? I am celibate, so I'm just gonna leave it there. Woo, child, you celibate for how long? <laughs> I don't want to say it on a national. Yeah, let this, okay. Let me tell you. I'm gonna tell you before you say it. This is an international show. It don't ever exactly. have a secret telling me because the whole world's gonna see. So if you don't want to say it, I'm not gonna. Push it out. I don't want to say, but I, I have been celibate for a while. So okay. let's just okay. leave it there. So you want a 300K celibate man? He doesn't have to be celibate, but he has to respect my decision to be celibate. Okay, so he can have other women in? No. Then how would he, he have to be celibate if he's respecting your wishes to be celibate? He, he has to respect my decision not to have sex with him. Um, so that means and, he has to be celibate? Yes. So you want a man to make 300K to day two, and, and what are you celibate for? And so when? So I'm married. So you want a 300K man to day two without having, and he's not gonna have, and he's not really allowed according to what you desire, has anybody else? Yes. Where this man at? Where this, where this, where this man? <laughs> God, God, where the hell this man? God, is he? Is he under my wig, child? Is he under my wig? He's somewhere. Is he in my Where? Where is man? Where is, where is, where is, where is, woo -hoo! Woo! 300K man who not go have with nobody and to end it. Where he at? 300,000? No wonder she's still single with standards like those. Being a 
it's, it's fun and it's exciting. You know, this is the kind of life. Look at all this money that I'm making and this, that, and third. But it doesn't, y'all don't show them the other side. Y'all don't show the side that when y'all be in the house and y'all crying because the man who you like so much don't really see you that way. He just see you as a Y'all don't be showing them that part. Y'all don't show them the, 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 the scars that you carry because you really don't like the things that you're doing, but because it's sustaining your lifestyle, you're going to do it. Y'all don't show them that part. Y'all don't show them the hurt that you do experience when men treat you like the, like nothing. Y'all just show them the glorified part, all the money and the glitz and the glam. No, show them the other part, the part where you can't even look yourself in the mirror because all the nasty things that you've done, all the things that you've done, you can't even look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that you love yourself. Tell them that, show them that part. Living a lifestyle like that is not as fun as it seems. At the end of the day, it's all about having respect for yourself. Did the filter just expose her? Hey, at least she knew the truth. Like, I'm a single mother myself. I don't have a lot of support, but I still make time for you. It was always kind of like a crutch, and I felt like I can't do this no more. So for me, I personally wouldn't want to meet a man with a child. I'm open to it, but I just feel like it's not something that I would be interested in because I just don't want to do it for somebody else. That aspect, my child's father, he's non-existent. You know, he comes right. every birthday, that's it, or whatever. So I have no issues, no man knocking down or, like, saying, don't be around my son. But for me personally, I don't want to date anybody with a child. But I, I isn't like that hypocritical because I you have one? I just said I'm a hypocrite. I know. But does that her admitting that she's a hypocrite doesn't make the situation any better? Well, after I gave him the ultimatum, he just looked at me in my face and was like, "If you feel like you need to move, move." And so we went through three months of like chicken, where I had no friends in Vegas, no family in Vegas. I just really blurted that out. I did not mean it. I had no intention, I had no job, I had nothing. I had no plans on moving to Vegas. I thought I was gonna force this man to propose to me. For three months, he was like, do what you gotta do. You wanna move, move. So the last day I was putting my stuff in the car, he came over and helped me put my stuff in the car. And we putting stuff in the trunk and I just start crying. I'm like, you really gonna let me leave? He looked at me and he said, have a safe trip. What did she expect to happen? This man is not a simp and he's not gonna fall for this woman's tricks. What's your ideal age range in a guy? 18 to 22. What's your ideal race in a guy? White. Was it always white? Yes. Today in this video, we're lying. What's your minimum height in a guy? Um, six foot. Why? Because I'm a big Okay. And your minimum income that a guy should make? Mm. 60k? Based off of your answers, the probability of you finding true love is 0.51%? That is not true. No? No. All I can say is numbers don't lie, even though you might lie all the time. Let me make something abundantly clear to you right now. My desirability will always come into question. I will always go to the headspace of wondering how lovable and I am because I grew up a fat person who felt completely undesirable my whole life. I hate to come on here in such an emotional state, but it's something that I have to just come to terms with. And feeling a lack of desirability in a world that teaches us that our desirability is the one thing we have to give has put me in situations which I wish I was never in. I have made choices from the feeling of lack of desirability that I wish I could take away with every fiber of my being. I've been a version of myself that has been so small and so beaten down and ended up with people who should never have had access to me because I was always searching for the feeling of desirability. The reason why I feel so compelled to be on the internet and just to show the complexities of living in a fat body is because I would do anything in my power to make it so nobody ever had to feel this. It's hard enough being a woman, especially a woman that grew up in the 90s where it seemed like this was at an all-time high. Not to say that previous generations didn't get it really bad, but like, I lived through the Britney Spears era and we were taught if you weren't people, you had nothing. So desirability is something that keeps coming back into my life. It keeps rearing its ugly head and I keep facing it and cowarding over how big it feels. This is so sad to hear about and the truth is millions of people go through this experience every single day. Let's all work towards not relying on what other people think. You have blown your youth. 
You spent the years between 18 and 35 doing whatever the hell you chose to do. No heat, no judgment. But you blew your youth. When your counterparts who were looking to marry up and marry well were getting married their junior and senior year in college, the first and second year after college, they were married at 22 and 23 and you were laughing at those white girls and those Asian girls getting married at 22, 23. You get married after college, that's too young. We need to go on girl trips and having our best life and hot girl summer and all this other Now, they're 10 years into their marriage, three kids deep, and their husband's a VP of marketing somewhere. And while you uh, still got to, you know, you and your cats are, are living in a, a loft downtown, driving your BMW in a middling career. You ain't on no career track. You blew your youth. You blew your youth. You can't get that back. You don't have time to play any more games. You don't have another 10 years to try to figure it out. You'll be 50. You don't have time to keep playing games. Time is something that you can never gain back, so you should never waste it at all, especially when it comes to dating. Mr. and Mrs. Rivera, I'm glad you're getting a divorce. Mrs. Rivera, I will say this to you. You're foolish. You had a good thing. As soon as it wasn't a perfect thing, it made you angry. Nobody's ever going to be perfect. You most certainly are not perfect. And the next guy you get is not going to be perfect. And unless you're willing to put up with a little bit of, you know, they say for better or for worse for a reason. It's not going to be all you know, lollipops and sunshine. And when it's not lollipops and sunshine for your husband, you at least give him a lollipop. You might not be able to make the sun shine, but you can give him a lollipop. And you didn't do it. You decided that your marriage was about you, for you, and because of you. And when he hit a rough patch, you were like, I'm sick of you. I'm tired of it. You're not a king and wonderful anymore because you're not doing everything I want to. You're no longer Mr. Perfect, and I have no obligation to give anything to you. That's tired and that's sad and he's a good dude. Mr. Rivera, you were, you were cold until you got on that motorcycle and rolled off like you didn't have a kid. At no point in time do you get to do that. You know, as a mother, she can't just, well, I'm not going to work now, so my kid's not going to have anything to eat. You didn't have a right to do that. So, you know, take care of your kids. Be a better person. And the judge has spoken. Let's hope she doesn't go on social media and cry how this man did her wrong when she was the one that messed things up. Now, ain't this the joke? That men can't handle strong women or that men are intimidated by strong women. Listen, here's the issue. Far too many women believe that being aggressive, being angry, and being, a, being belligerent is being strong. Being aggressive, unpleasant, and rude is not being strong. No, I would argue that it makes you unbearable or insufferable. It's not that we can't handle you, we just choose not to. Why bother when there's so many other options? So you can keep your attitude and your anger and your miserableness and enjoy your life. I choose not to involve myself with that stress. Red flag. This man couldn't have explained this better. Being rude to people is not being a strong person. It just makes you more of a jerk. I want to share some really alarming statistics about gray divorce, which is divorce after the age of 55 that every woman needs to know. The divorce rate, the gray divorce rate for people 55 to 64 has tripled since 1990. The divorce rate for people over 65 has seen a six-fold increase and one in 10 divorces is between people over the age of 65. This is gray divorce. And the worst part is it has a bigger impact on her versus him. Why it's a bigger impact on her, on us, on we women, is the fact that we live longer, we're paid less, and we don't make out as well financially in those divorce proceedings. In fact, women's income goes down 27% post-divorce, while men's income goes up 10%. I don't know about you, but it seems like the only reason their income goes up is because they're spending less on you. I mean, do you want to tell her kind of, because you were in her shoes four or five years ago easily, right? Yeah. What, what's my shoes exactly? <laughs> Please I mean, explain. you're posting a bikini picture compared to me I just saw, being right. on a pole dancing and going crazy and being on ceilings, you know, like that. I was crazy party lifestyle promoter. I was doing everything nightlife. I was making my money. And at the end of the day, I was not doing work. I would like to make that very clear. It was more or less on the lines of finessing. I like to finesse. I like yeah. playing the teasing and like, oh, yeah, oh, you think you got some? No, you're not. But at the end of the day, <laughs> 
it, it gets to a point where it's like it's all fun and games yeah. but look where i'm at right now no i, I had a child out you. of wedlock you know what i'm saying yeah. i don't have a man that is secure by my side right now with my child and as i'm raising my child i'm seeing how badly i feel like some girl um yeah. stop! i don't want to do it i'm i'm, I'm not gonna cry on camera i no, refuse it's, it's it's fine i think i think but, i think they need to hear this go ahead i mean uh, chris don't be a moron let her let her speak please at the end go of ahead. the day it's important to have a man in your life <laughs> it's really important because of the simple fact that just seeing my son raised without a son like a oh, father it's it, it hurts it really does and you know what it's so it's i'm happy for you because it's like when you have that situation you realize that it's like this is my man i'm gonna worship him and this is the family i'm gonna create when i'm a grandma and i have the whole entire room filled with my grandchildren that is your real value this is advice that a lot of women need to hear all of this fun that is happening right now won't last long and eventually you will be regretting not using your time wisely what's your ideal age range in a man in a boy to date to date um probably between 18 and 20 right now what is your ideal race in a guy um i don't really have a type i kind of like light skin Okay, Why? So, you, so you like bi guys? Bi guys? Black. So. Oh yeah. What's the minimum height that a guy should be? Um, taller than me, I think. Okay, so. Yeah. I'm five six, probably like. So five seven's okay. Uh, maybe like five eleven, six foot. And the minimum income that they should make in a year. Um, something that's like fin financially stable, probably like. I mean, six figures would be cool. So based off of your answers, the probability uh -huh. that you are gonna find true love uh -huh. on this planet is 0.19%. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Six figures? She made it seem like that was a reasonable number. A lot of women are in relationships that they're being tolerated. He can't stand you. Not because you're not a kind person, not because your food doesn't taste good, not because you might not know how to put it down, not because of any of that, but because you're disrespectful and it's unattractive to a man. A woman can look good and be disgusting with her attitude and a man will sleep with her and keep it pushing. And she won't be able to fathom how come in her eyes or in society's eyes or her friend's eyes that she appears to be a 10 and he's leaving her and he's he's actually committed to somebody who's a six. They're looking like, well, how could that happen? How could he go from this to that? Oh, he downgraded. Actually, he didn't, he upgraded. A lot of women get disrespectful because they're not getting the love, but if we trace it all the way back to the beginning, the reason why you're not getting the love in the first place is because of that same respect. You caused it. And a lot of women think that because their man is not saying anything that they're in a good space. You're in the worst space. You see, when he not correcting you no more, when he not saying nothing to you no more, when he don't got nothing to say, when he just left it alone, either he planning his exit strategy, tuning you out, he got somebody else that's tickling his fancy, that's respecting him in ways that you are not, or he's checked out of the relationship and he's only there for the commitment, for the dedication. It doesn't matter what you do if you're disrespectful. You could buy him a Lambo. You could buy him his dream car. You could buy, you could put his name on the deed of a house. You could jump from the ceiling fan and put it on him. It doesn't matter. You know what's gonna trump all, trump all that? Disrespect. Everyone deserves some sort of respect, no matter who you are. So if you're being disrespectful to your own partner, then there's definitely something that is wrong. Being a single mom and dating in the Gold Coast is brutal. First of all, the universe is literally trying to tell me something because my ex, who I was in a traumatic relationship with, was Scorpio. And every single guy that wants to come up to me and get to know me is Scorpio. And they're on the same day as my ex or the day before or after his birthday. So I'm pretty convinced the universe is literally telling me to stay away from all men at this point until I do some serious healing. I really hate being that girl to straight up ask a guy, when's your birthday? Like I'm all woohoo and star signy. I don't know much about star signs besides stay away from Scorpio. I need to stay away from Scorpio. But there is just something so unbelievably attractive about Scorpio men. The confidence that these guys breathe and whenever a man looks at me, I literally feel like everyone just parts ways for us. And then I find out he's Scorpio and it makes total freaking sense. When will people understand that your birthday doesn't make your personality? Maybe she's just attracting the wrong crowd. Dating 
after a breakup you didn't want is going to be terrible <laughs> because listen, you're going to feel guilty. You're going to feel like you're cheating on your person. You're going to wonder if you're going to ruin your chances of getting back together again. You're going to be angry because you didn't want to be back out there dating and your person kind of <clears throat> pushed you out there. You're going to feel like no one can compare to your person because no matter what they did to you, you still love them. So the feelings that you're going to have about dating are going to be terrible. But we're going to I'm going to do a little longer version on this. <clears throat> but if you're feeling all of those things, that's completely normal. That's completely normal. Terrible, <laughs> but normal. Don't let your ex keep you from living your life. There's no need to feel guilty. So just keep your head high and move on with your life. Seven years with this person. Seven years of creating a life together. But you know what? Because he's happy now with his new girl. Playing house and What the dude? You did me dirty. You did me dirty. What the <laughs> Clearly, this looks like a coping mechanism from this woman. Her ex has moved on and now created a life for himself that he didn't see her in. Anyways, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. You guys have made it to the end. Remember to like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. And remember, go down to the description and click the link for T. Shanley. You won't regret it. Till next time.